All right, welcome to lab number two of AZ500. Um, this lab is about network security groups and application um, security groups. So uh, we're already here in our pre-provisioned uh, lab environment. So um, what we're gonna do here first is um, deploy some uh, virtual networking. Um, and the idea here is that um, we have some infrastructure uh, where we have two groups of servers, namely web servers and management servers. Um, and they should then be uh, in their own application security groups. Um, so, and then we should open up RDP for management service and then uh, web servers not, but rather they should be able to display web pages. So we're gonna use network security group rules to uh, implement all of that. There's a fairly good uh, picture of the, uh, or diagram of the architecture uh, in the um, instructions for this lab on GitHub. But yeah, so um, first of all, we're going to start off by creating a virtual network. So I'm gonna search for virtual networks. And then we're gonna create one. Uh, resource group is pre-created for us. Um, then the name of the uh, network is supposed to be my virtual network. Uh, and then the region is the East US. So, all right. Then if we go over to IP addresses here, uh, so the IP range for our uh, virtual network is 10.0.0.0.16, as if is required. And then we have a subnet called default, that is a forward slash 24. So that's great as well. So, so let's just review and create. While that is creating, we can go and create our application security groups. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay. Create one. Uh, so the resource group is the same one. Um, for the name, our first one is going to be my application security group web service or web service, right? Create this one. And then we can go to our second one. which is my application security group management servers. All right, then let's create the actual uh, network security rules. So I'm gonna go to network security groups. And then create. Uh, same resource group. And now the name is my network security. Here we go. So in Azure, network security groups are objects that can live kind of on their own uh, in the hierarchy. So um, we need to specifically associate the uh, security group with a subnet, right? Otherwise, it will not have uh, any effect. So these are the default rules that are available in our network security group, and this cannot be changed. And they will always be there. However, they have a very high priority number, which means that they are very low priority as the uh, rules get evaluated in a numeric order, starting with the smallest. But yeah, so, so let's first um, associate this um, network security group with our subnet. So this is our virtual network that we just created and then the default subnet there, that's correct. There we go. And then let's take a look at adding some inbound security rules. 
So the default rules allow any incoming traffic um, from the same virtual network. And then they allow any incoming traffic from an Azure load balancer. And then they deny everything else, right? And this is now inbound uh, traffic specifically. So um, what we want to do is we want to add um, traffic uh, basically from anywhere um, to a specific application security group. Which one? Well, let's say the web servers one. And then we want to add basically HTTP and HTTPS. So uh, we can't do that in one. So uh, we're just going to say uh, custom, and then we say 80, 443. You could also do this by two separate rules. That's totally um, OK. Like if I would pick HTTP from here, it would be 80. And then if I would pick HTTPS, it would be 443. Uh, for brevity, let's just have one rule for both. 80 and 443. Um, the priority could be 100. That's kind of, I think that's the lowest priority that we can set up. The highest is 4096. Um, and then let's say allow uh, web all. That's a good name. It's really important to give uh, these rules good names for easy uh, readability and understandability. There we go. So that's uh, created. And now the, the second thing that we needed to do is to have RDP open for our management service. So let's add another rule from anywhere uh, to an application security group. And the one we want now is management service. And now we can, I think, just use RDP from here. we have it here so ah jumped over it there we go so that's port 3389 and uh the next roughly the next priority number is 110 so that's probably okay and then we want to allow rdp or from all from any um, um source that's good so let's add that one so now you can see here uh we're opening up uh, web ports for everybody if the traffic is going to um, a web server and then we're opening up RDP if it's going to a management server. That's all good uh, and done. So let's let, then create our servers, right? That's kind of our next job here. Um, so let's go to VM virtual machines. Let's create one. We're going to be putting it in the same uh, resource group. We're going to call this first one my VM web. Um, we, we don't need any redundancy for this quick uh, demo. Uh, we don't need any special security either. The image is going to be a Windows image. So what we wanted is a Windows. 2022 Azure edition. Then the size is supposed to be a D2S V3. That's correct. Um, the username could be like student for this one. And then a password. Go. Um, uh, inbound public inbound ports uh, none for now. Uh, no uh, licenses. Uh, disks. Let's make it a bit cheaper. Just using a, a standard hard drive uh, here instead of a SSD. Um, then we go to networking. 
And here we can select my virtual network. That's correct. Uh, under the NIC, NIC network security group, we set up none. That's correct. Then for management, everything should be okay. Um, for monitoring, uh, we should have a uh, managed storage account for boot diagnostics. That's correct. So then we can just review and create. Or while that is um, deploying, we can go and create a new one or another one. Um, create. But the same resource group. And now this is the management server, right? Um, we don't need any redundancy. Um, standard security is okay. 22 data center Azure, it's okay. D2S V3, and again, we're gonna say student. And then a very secret password. All right. And then here, we don't allow any inbound ports. And then for the disk, again, we're going to make it a uh, hard drive, just to make it a little bit cheaper. Um, and then with networking, check that we're in my ne virtual network. That's okay. And there is no NIC NIC network security group. Good. And then on to monitoring and uh, the uh, setting of boot diagnostics enabled with managed storage account is good. So we can create this one as well. Okay, so while this one is uh, created, we can already take a look at our, our other virtual machine. So this is the uh, web virtual machine right here. And if you go to networking here, and we can see that there is a application security group right here. And uh, currently, there are no application security groups um, involved. So we can add one here. And for this one, we want to have the web server's um, application security. Let's add that one. There we go. Then if we go back to our second server, the management server here, um, it's not yet ready, so you can see the uh, network interface is already here. So we can add our management server application security group as well. like that. So back to the overview. We downloaded the uh, RDP file. And now the password. And that works. So our network security group allows us to use RDP to um, connect. So um, let's go back. Um, and then let's go to our web environment. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to 
uh, install uh, IIS. So um, the way that we can do that without connecting to it is we are here via operations and then run a command. So this allows us to uh, run a different kinds of commands uh, in the environment. So let's just write some uh, PowerShell, uh, install Windows feature with the name web server and include my run that. And you can see here as the command progresses. All right, now it's done. So um, what you could then do is uh, take the public IP address and let's see whether we can connect to it. And we can, so we get the IIS uh, standard homepage here. So, so that one worked um, as well. So that's it for this uh, short lab. We introduced you to application security groups as well as network security groups to be able to allow secure connections to different kinds of virtual machines. Thanks for listening and see you in the next lab. Till then.